everybody, welcome back to our Monday Live! It's Monday Live with MJ and attorney Hermes, your source of good news where you start your week on a brighter side. This week, we will be talking about spiritual wealth. A lot of times when we talked about Check This Out Pro, it's actually about the spiritual, emotional, physical, and social growth. And this week, we'll be talking specifically on spiritual wealth. And the most famous quote that we researched for you guys is from John Marks Templeton. He is saying about it is in giving more that you receive. It is how it's being read. It's amazing like how we actually get and keep the joy if we keep on scattering it ourselves, if we keep on giving it. And the fact that that was in depression years, year in 1934, that he actually graduated from Yale University top of the class in spite of the depression. And uh, his first work was in Wall Street in 1938. A year after he started and worked at Wall Street, Europe actually declared war, which he found out even if on war times and people that are really like suffering, what he did, he actually made use of the interest rates at that time and took a loan for hundreds of shares in 104 companies. And that's how he made his Templeton Growth Fund which he actually later on sold to the Franklin Group. So a lot of you may be familiar with Franklin Templeton's funds, right? So it is amazing like how after half of his way to success, he actually dedicated or devoted himself into digging into spirituality. And the first award, probably the most expensive prize that you could receive. It's even more than the Nobel Prize that you would be receiving each year that focuses on mathematics, science, physics. Those are the people that we actually reward once a year and it's about a million dollars right now. However, the spirituality award that he actually made and discovered in 1972 is worth 1.1 million dollars which is more than the Nobel Prize. He found out that no other award-winning group have actually discovered to award people who have lived their life, uplifted their life spiritually. And how are we going to relate it with our social side? For a money side, let's hear from our money talk. Attorney Hermes. everybody great message by MJ and uh, you know, we've been talking about all these great things that we've seen places we've been we've been to the Oregon coast we saw some amazing waterfalls some tides some tide pools different animals and we even went to Yosemite saw some amazing beautiful things but one of the most beautiful things you can actually do is do something else for someone else so one of the things we're talking about was spiritual wealth you know, we're always talking about how we can earn more money, how we can earn interest, how we can uh, get flexible income, how we can get passive income, things like that. But what about social and spiritual wealth? And what does that mean to you? So one of the things that I always think about and what we've actually talked about recently is that feeling you get when you give. You know, philanthropic feelings, if you're in philanthropy, if you're in charity or giving, those are amazing things. But it doesn't even have to be something that you do for a purpose. It could just be something you do. 
right? Have you ever had that opportunity where somebody's in the grocery store and they're in the line in front of you and they just don't have enough money to cover what they're doing? It could even be just 25 bucks, but times are tough and they just didn't have enough money. And you're like, hey, just put it on my account, just put it on my bill, you know, that's my gift to you. Sometimes doing that makes you feel better than making thousands of dollars. You can make thousands of dollars in a deal, hundreds of thousands of dollars, real estate deals, different insurance deals, but what if you actually just put a little effort into helping someone else, contributing to society? It's not always about personal. You know, we can always think about ourselves, but why are we really hustling? Why are we really working so hard? Why are we building businesses? We're not doing it just for us. We're doing it for our loved ones. We're doing it for our generational wealth. We want to do it for our families to come. You know, I love that quote, if you didn't come from a wealthy family, make sure that a wealthy family comes from you. Well, that starts with you, but you're not doing it for yourself. It's always selfless. You're doing it for others. And that's where your energy is going to come from. You know, you could be an amazing mind. You could be super brilliant in business. But if you're only doing it for yourself, you're never going to get to your true potential. So we're always looking at ways we can give back, whether or not it's at church, whether or not it's in our community, whether or not it's just a family member that hasn't been, you know, doing well. Just a phone call sometimes is enough. But if you can help somebody figure out how to create a life for themselves, it, it really is a feeling that you cannot even comprehend. So we're going to go enjoy the rest of this walk, and I hope you have a great week.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, press the button below. And if you want to subscribe and watch us in future videos, press the subscribe button. And you can follow us on other social media accounts as well. But have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.